This is the body design. It has a rather nice colored gradient paint job on it, which I happen to quite like. It also comes in a white, plain white variant if you prefer that. It has a small glass lens here at the top. This is the focus ring around the center of the lens. Swinging around to the side here, this is where we load our discs into. Pop them in right there, pop it back in. We have three buttons on the base of the projector. First button being the power on. It is a battery powered projector. It does have a little battery in there. The second button here, which is the rotation button. That is, do you want the projected scene to rotate? Basically it has a little motor inside that rotates the disc. And the third button, which is a sleep timer. You can set a 15, 30 minute or 60 minute sleep timer. After that time has passed, it just shuts off. So fairly simple user interface. We have a USB-C on the base as well. And it does have some tilt action on the base here for you to point it at your ceiling. So once you've powered on your projector and you've pointed it at your ceiling, you're gonna wanna use that top focus ring to basically get it as much in focus as you can. You can get about the center in focus, but do note that you won't be able to get the entire image in focus. This is fairly standard between all of these star projectors I've seen, but just something to note so you don't think you have a broken projector or anything like that. So we're taking a look now at some of the results that I get when I was projecting this in my own space here. It is quite hard to fully block all the light in my space. I've done the best I can. As you can see, the projector is in the middle of the room, pointing upward towards my concrete ceiling. I do not have a totally flat ceiling and there are lines running through my ceiling. So don't think that's a part of the disc or anything. That's just the surface of my ceiling in particular. But this is pretty much what it's looking like to get a feel for it. Make sure you're in a completely dark room when you do this you're gonna get far better results. I actually took this into my bathroom, which is completely dark. And to my amazement, it worked really well. It gave a really cool effect, especially when I used the jellyfish disc with the reflections off the mirror. It, it totally had a crazy effect. I think that would be really appealing if you wanna create some mood or ambiance. It does really transform a space when you use it like that. Try it out in your bathroom if you do get it. Any smaller room where you can, you know, completely block all the light, it definitely creates a really dreamy effect. You can definitely use this as a lighting tool to create a sense of ambiance in your own space. Totally, totally works for that. Some good finger grip strength. Okay. Woo! Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. All right. We taken out all of the items. Ooh, a bag of sand. Make sure it's clean. I think that's about half. It's got that authentic sand smell. <laughs> Making my zen garden here. Just combing some sand. Just combing some sand. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it's moving. You get this? And we're gonna put it on flat. Ah! Oh, did you see the sand comes up every time I take it off? That's so weird. Little trick: unpower it when you put the glass on, because when I was taking this off, the sand would suck up. Did you see the sand like sucking up? Wow, there are a ton of images in here that we can just have this thing start creating. Play with the lighting modes. We got a white, purple, pink, blue, spread. Oh, you set them. Okay, so blue to a green. Let's try the fade. We're gonna set max speed. So there we go. Got blue and it's changing here to purple. If we go to the max speed here, we go back to home. Yeah, look, the timer with what had 15 minutes left now only has four minutes left. Comet, what does Comet do? Ooh, I like Comet. That's pretty cool. That's really neat. 
Rainbow gradient follows ball position, correlate with the positioning of the ball. And we can see our design is coming into play. So you can select to have it stop between tracks. They do make this particular item. This has a custom wooden finish to it, but they make them in big coffee tables too. Can you imagine having a huge coffee table version of this thing? It would be absolutely wild. This is a quite mesmerizing piece. As you can see, it's very zen. Would add a ton of ambiance to a space. This thing is so cool. <laughs> wow. I mean, I think that's the idea. You just run this thing 24 seven. It's so mesmerizing the route it has to take to actually draw this pattern here. It's not like how you would think it had to be. Okay, so there you have it. This is the Sisyphus LE Mini. Computer, movie mode. Welcome everybody to the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. Today we're covering the two most popular 4K lifestyle video projectors, the X-Genie Horizon Pro 4K. and the Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K. So these are considered lifestyle projectors. What is a lifestyle projector? So unlike traditional projectors, which aim to be ceiling mounted and connected to a home theater for their audio and source video, lifestyle projectors, on the other hand, are an all-in-one solution for any context. Not only can you use them as a more traditional projector in a long-term setup, but you can also use them, set them up within minutes, break them down. They're designed with portability in mind. Along with this, they have all of your smart functionality and apps built right in, also come with some built-in quality speakers, meaning you can essentially just power on these things, connect to Wi-Fi, and start streaming all of your favorite content. As well as that, they also have a very nice aesthetic, meaning they're built to look pretty. They're usually more durable, throw it on a table or hook it up to a tripod, portable cinema experience, bring it camping, cottaging, road tripping, use it for work, parties, karaoke, photo shoots. The possibilities really become endless. Check this thing out. Ooh, it's got like a nice ball bearing in there. The spinning is quite satisfying as well. Just turned it on. All these buttons at the top here. There is a button. That's a little button. Volume, again, very tactile. Oh, I really like that. I really like this side here. This is the charging point. Everything about it's just super, super cool. This is the flashlight. You just press that for three seconds. Let's turn on or off the flashlight. Pretty cool. It just feels really high end. I love all the buttons and stuff. This is what we're looking at with the body of it. It's like all metal. It's, it's a, definitely a metal construction here. Very cool, the nice little feet, it's even got nice little feet to it. And you just simply connect your lines into it. Boom, just like so, you can see they're lighting up the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna plug this controller piece. So you can see how that power is working. 
And you can see how on the back of all the connector pieces, they do have stick-on wall mount already there for you. It's a really thought out product that Nanoleaf has built here. Covers on. Boom, see how the covers kind of make it all flat? So there you have it. You see the glow it's got going on out of the box. But let's, let's get these skins going. And it looks like they just snap right on top. So you could even mismatch the, uh, the black and the white pieces to change these out. They give you the black ones. So I'll just change out these two here. And there you have it, a half skinned with the black skins. You can build this out to a huge design with the expansion packs. The cable is super long, running from your design to the outlet, so that's great. Super impressed so far. Let's go figure out where I'm gonna mount these things. All right, so I have the Nanoleaf lines installed as of now. I will say it was a bit of a challenge trying to figure out the right pattern for my space that I wanted to put up on the wall. In retrospect, if I could go back and do it again, and I recommend this to all of you, if you are going to design a pattern on your ceiling, start from the edge of your ceiling and build outwards. And then once you go onto your wall with that extension piece, build down where the ceiling and your wall meet so you don't end up with something like I have where there is a bit of a gap. What I did was I actually built out my Nanoleaf lines pattern starting from the bottom of my neon sign. That's where I kind of wanted it to begin. So then I was faced with the challenge of, well, do I take this down and rip off all the pieces and try to move it upwards a few inches? I decided not to do that because I did try to rip off one of the nano leaf tiles and it did kind of ruin the wall and make a bit of a gash in the wall. So once you stick it up there, the adhesive is really good. It is really strong. It's, it's there. It's going to stay there. You can applaud Nanoleaf for that. Overall, I still really love my Nanoleaf lines. I think it is quite a unique aesthetic and something we haven't really seen before from these lighting companies in terms of coming up with something fresh and interesting. I personally like the aesthetic. I like the feel of it more so than I do other wall tiles. I wish I just had more of them to make a bigger pattern. I think it would be really exciting to have a whole bunch of these, a whole ton of them, and really grow out this space and make something super interesting. It integrates well. I tested it with my Alexa into my setup for voice command. It comes with an array of different patterns and features and lighting effects you can do all from within the app. Of course, you can also design your own patterns as well or set it to a single static color. Overall, I really dig it. It's definitely gonna be a permanent addition to the setup here. Oh, this ought to be fun. So all these panels are made of recycled wood, acrylic panels as well, like diffused acrylic panels. Looks like we're uh, building a jigsaw puzzle today. You ready? You ready for this, Robbie? Yeah, jiggy with it. And you can build this into an array of different configurations that will render a different look and a different uh, projected light coming from the lamp. So there's some different examples just with the lines uh, lamp itself. Hey, it looks like a birdhouse with a peephole camera, but fear not, that's not what it is. That's for a light bulb and that is the base. All right, so I think the rest is pretty self-explanatory. All right, so that just screws into there. This thing is much larger than I thought it would be. Kind of just sits on the, uh, the corners of the base there. Very nice. Ooh! So that is what we're looking at. This is with all the diffused pieces sort of attached. So here I am now essentially rebuilding the lamp design how I want it to be. One side with just diffused pieces and one side with just the wooden pieces. I strongly advise you to figure out your design configuration before building your lamp because trust me, you do not want to be rebuilding this thing once it's done. But when it is done, I can tell you it is an absolutely stunning lamp. Very futuristic looking. And in a configuration with just the wooden panels, this will allow you to project the pattern of the panels onto a nearby wall, such as we saw in the product video. Kind of depending on like which angle you look at it from, kind of blocks some light out. It's kind of interesting to look at it from different angles. How the light kind of peeks out from all the panels. 
Another awesome feature is you can put any light bulb inside of this lamp. So that's just what I did. I installed a smart RGB bulb so I can now integrate the light into my smart home for voice control and automation and enjoy limitless possibilities with having the full color spectrum inside the lamp to play with and viewing it with all these different color possibilities really added another layer of pop. I have to say I really really like the overall aesthetic of this lamp and its limitless configurations to customize it. They do come in a variety of different sort of patterns you can get them in that will project that pattern onto the wall. Boom! Here it is. <laughs> Straight from outer space, as Gravistar likes to give you, this is the Supernova. Supernova. It's a lamp Bluetooth speaker combo. Oh, pull that off and it reveals, like, what does this remind you of? Some nuclear thing that's contained in here. Yeah, like the flux capacitor. This is what we're looking at here. I know from the previous Gravistar Bluetooth speaker, the legs open up like that. It is crazy looking. There's a handle for it. You can screw that on the top. USB-C, a standard aux cable instruction guide. That's the power button on the top here, looks like. Ready to connect. <laughs> Sounds like a car starting up or something, like. Okay, let's. Bluetooth connected. Bluetooth connected. Ooh, you can see there is a multicolor thing going on here. Yeah, so if we click, it changes the color inside. Dark blue, aqua, purple, white, red, yellow, green, darker green. Ooh, maybe camping mode is this like fire effect, I think. Multiple people can join and control this speaker. That's pretty cool. Pretty bassy. Some nice bass to it. Now you got a portable Bluetooth speaker with built-in light. The appeal to this is a lot of people would buy it just for its sort of sci-fi nature and unique aesthetic. I think this might just be a permanent fixture here in the background of my space. Like nothing that I've, I've seen really looks like it. It looks like a movie prop. It looks straight out of a movie. And I think really that's its big selling point. It does have a really loud Bluetooth speaker on it as well. Comes with the carrying handle if you did want to mount it. Presenting an incredible new creation from Govi, a captivating floor lamp emanating a mesmerizing ambience from its lava lamp-esque cylindrical top. Let's check it out. And as you can see, the setup is relatively seamless. It's a no tools required assembly. Twist it, screw it, lock it in kind of deal. And once it's set up, you'll come to find this is a unique lighting piece that can not only set the mood through its high powered RGBIC internal LED beads, but it also comes with an array of different animations and scene modes that really help to take it to the next level. Once connected with the Govi app, you can unlock 64 preset scene modes, including 40 plus animated patterns, music reactivity modes, and more. Some of these scenes are quite innovative and unique for a floor lamp. The cylinder lamp boasts a whopping 1500 lumen brightness output featuring both warm white and cool white dedicated LED beads inside this RGB IC WW. That's a lot of letters, but there's a lot of tech going on inside these lamps. They are quite bright. I had to turn the exposure down quite a lot in order to not have them clipping in camera in relation to the other lights in the studio for you guys to see the natural warm color of this lamp and the cooler white color of this lamp. This is an elegant and futuristic lamp where the top of the lamp has so many LED beads that it's almost starting to resemble a screen. Like it looks that detailed and clean, the light it's putting out capable of playing fun animations and dynamic scene modes. It's sure to take your space up to the next level with this really unique piece. I really like it. It definitely gets a thumbs up from me.
today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made this giant light wall, how easy it was to do, and how you can make one too with Govi's new curtain lights. Let's check it out. Essentially, it's a ton of different light strings that have these little teardrop shape light beads in an array that are all customized and programmable to play animations, GIFs, different scene modes, a whole bunch of fun stuff. You can connect up to three different sets of these light beads and run them as one giant screen in an array as I've done myself. Each curtain set is sporting 520 light beads. As well, the lights are IP65 rated, meaning they are indeed cleared for outdoor use if you wanna do a display outside. So many options open up with this product. Very, very exciting stuff. In the box, Govi provides you with three different options to mount these lights with attachable clips, which you can put included VHB adhesive strips on the back of, and stick them up. There's also an option that comes with hooks and there's also a nail option if you wanna use that. When I was installing my lights in the background, I found that clamps were a big help to temporarily hang them and mount them, see how they're gonna look while I stuck on each little VHB clip one by one. I've basically covered my entire window using three sets of these curtain lights spanning 15 feet in total. Each curtain set will give you about five feet of width and roughly seven feet of height. It's really awesome that you can get three sets of these lights, hang them side side by side and tell the Govi software to see them as one giant screen, one giant canvas to play back the included scene modes and animations. It's really quite neat the effect, like the aquarium scene, for example, that really take full advantage of this huge giant light canvas light wall. You can indeed connect these lights into Govi DreamView, which basically pairs them with other Govi products to match what's on a TV screen or match a particular scene mode that you've set so it's really cool that they can play into that if you do use the dream view mode just like Gobi does it comes with different music modes and ways to visualize music which works quite well it's very very cool i'm absolutely stunned and amazed stunned and amazed by how much light this thing puts out. It basically can light up my entire room, my entire studio, just using these lights alone. It really does have like an unmatched pattern display ability that I found. In the DIY mode, you can even create your own scenes, you can even upload your own animations, your own GIFs, or you can use the text function to scroll across the curtain lights different text which this obviously opens up a huge array of possibilities to basically use this as a giant light wall, a giant light canvas of your own making. You know, the fact that Govi allows you to upload your own stuff, your own animations is really, really great, really cool. We haven't seen anything like this from Govi yet. So very, very excited to play with this further. But what I've been able to do so far has just been absolutely mind blowing that this is available and it's so easy to do for us consumers to make such a big lighting display. Even if you just wanna use them for holidays, they come with an array of different holiday presets you can use. Christmas, Halloween, birthday parties, scroll across messages. And of course, if you're new to Govi products, it has a very developed ecosystem, a lot of great support, a lot of great feedback. It has a great app and it is compatible with Alexa and Google Home for voice control and further smart home integrations and automations. Moving into number two, we have the Govi M1 LED light strip. The LED light strip in general is perhaps one of the most underrated piece of lighting kit that you can buy to totally transform a space. When I first got into lighting, I would put LED strips on any surface that I could find. And this really made a huge impact on my space. You would be surprised at how you can transform your space, add that sense of ambiance, add those color splashes just with LED strip lighting placed on certain objects and furnitures and hidden underneath things. Govi's M1 LED light strips are one of the best, brightest, and most accurate 
LED lighting strips that you can buy today. Packing 60 LEDs per meter. These things are super bright. They look absolutely amazing. Govi gives you all the hardware you need to mount them basically on anything. They also come with a ton of effects and integrate nicely into the Govi ecosystem with all the bells and whistles you could ask for in an LED light strip. Following that, we have the Govi T2 and Visual TV backlighting kit. If you're just getting into dynamic lighting or mood lighting, a great place to start is with your TV or display in your room. And let me tell you, this is one of the best TV LED light strip kits on the market with endless features and lighting effects, packing the same technology as the Govi M1 LED strips that I mentioned previously with those 60 LEDs per meter. As well, it comes with an advanced camera reader to actively match the colors on your TV display, on your screen, and send that to the lights on the back for a truly immersive experience. This feature works really well. I was totally blown away when I first saw it. How the colors literally follow each section of the TV. It's, it's doing its magic to match it. It truly lights up for an even more immersive experience when you're watching a movie or playing a game. And you can even use this function to connect all your Govi lights to follow the colors on your screen using this camera reader. Works very well, quite impressed. Awesome, awesome LED light strip kit for your TV. Coming in at number five, last but certainly not least, we have Govi's Outdoor Neon Lighting Kit, letting you take some of that mood lighting magic outdoors. Whether you only have a small balcony like I do or you want to illuminate your entire home or yard, the awesome part about this product is its versatility to be used as either practical hidden lighting or to be mounted in the open and seen with its neon-like seamless glow. You can create shapes, patterns, or outline the perimeter of your yard, let's say, with this awesome piece of lighting kit from Govi. Really, really fun stuff if you do want to take some of that lighting magic outside, brighten up your yard for all those fun summer evenings to have. Okay, so there you have it with these five products alone. You can totally transform your lighting inside and out. All of these products are compatible with your smart home, either Google or Alexa, and they all integrate nicely into the Govi ecosystem using the Govi app, all featuring endless colors, scene modes, music reactivity modes, and more. So this is the final setup now with the lighting and cable management completed of the FlexiSpot desk. Check this thing out. It actually goes super high. I was rather quite impressed with the height this thing is able to go. Wow, look how high that is. So I've actually thrown a Govi Lyra behind this concrete pillar here. In terms of other lights, I'm running these two sunset lamps on the corner. One illuminating the Banksy Life is Beautiful pick. Got some tripods hanging there, but I've mostly cleaned out this area and it's now just this desk set up here. And this is where I keep the upcoming product for the shoots as well as up here. Stuff coming up that I'm working on, but this is pretty much the room now with the new setup. Super clean, super awesome. Okay, so we're on the balcony now. I really wanted this place to feel like a bit of an oasis in the city. So there's a ton of plants, a ton of greenery. We got the Govi outdoor neon lighting strip that is draping the entire balcony barrier right to the end. We got the barbecue, a little cactus. Of course, you can see inside to the studio from here. It's a really fun place to hang out. I'm really happy with how it came out. We got the fire pit going right now, which I've done a video on. And this is my view from the balcony. Downtown Toronto, in the heart of the entertainment district. It's a pretty awesome place to hang out. And I'm absolutely loving the vibes now that everything is finished and completed. Super awesome. Okay, so we're gonna step into the actual studio now, continuing the tour. So I have done a dedicated video on the Govi curtain lights. I kind of have them all mounted to the top here. And as you can see, when I open my sliding doors, 
It kind of just drapes them to the side like so. so. It's all worked out. But yeah, after a lot of hard work and determination, this is the final studio. Now, we'll just do a full 360 here. So I got this new neon sign, which I mentioned before, I will be doing a full neon buyer's guide. And I also redid this wall, but this one turns on, it puts out so much light that I actually had it off right now, but it lights up the entire kitchen. I can put it to 10%, but this one does tend to give a lot of flicker. So I don't love doing that. Anyways, back to the main space. So we have our Govi curtain lights set to a sound reactivity mode, but let's maybe change them. Let's find the right vibe for now. I do love this shapes mode as well. The meteor shower one is pretty chill to keep on the background. You know what, maybe let's just keep it on the, uh, the dream color one. That's one of my favorites for sure. So this is the studio space which I work in. Everything is now cable managed from what I was working on before. We have the full desk set up. The full streaming setup is now done. Everything has been nicely cable managed in the back there, which is great. All the cables have been run underneath the desk as you saw me working on before. And this, the final production area pegboard is now finished. Let's turn on the lights, which this is an awesome work light. I have done a video on that. I've done a video on mostly everything here, but this is the final production area now. So much cleaner than what it was before. You know, I had this huge printer taking up so much space. So I've gotten so much space back by removing that printer, putting up the pegboard for the stuff that I use most often, and then organizing all of my gear into these cabinets here, which are all fully labeled, such as camera and battery, uh, hard drives and media, audio, just to give you a few peeks. Everything I need is here now. I'm trying to really take a minimalist approach and just keep the things that I use most often. Everything has now been nicely cable managed to into these uh, boxes. I'm a big fan of using these cable management boxes. Otherwise everything would just look a mess. The three HDMI cables are running along the baseboards all the way around running into this box right here for when I do live streaming and such. All the feeds are there to get the multicam setup going as well as the monitor going. So I'm really happy with how everything turned out. It's all cable managed. I got my hypercubes. I've decided to put the big hypercube under the desk and I fit the two hypercubes into these shelves. I had to drill them out and run power from behind there. This is everything with my desk. I have done a full desk tour video going through all the components of my desk and my workstation, what I use. I'm running the Nano Leaf lines up on the roof, which you can check that video out. We got Color Light Hexagon Pro tiles video on that. We got the Color Light Mix tiles. These are really cool. Uh, these are magnetically attached now to the pegboard, which is one of my favorite parts of having this, this thing is that I can just, you know, take stuff out, move it around, reconfigure. Up here is where I have the projector mounted. I'm rocking the XGME Horizon Pro 4K currently that shoots at a projector screen that comes down, which I've also done a comparison video on this projector. And look who's decided to make an appearance. This is Frankie. Say hi, Frank. I get a lot of questions on the hypercubes. They are definitely one of my favorite pieces in this space. And I do plan to be doing a new video on them. They do make a smaller, more accessible cube in terms of price point. And they're working on a bunch of new cool products. I think I saw like a pyramid version of this as well as some other cool stuff in the works. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys have questions in this space. As I've mentioned, I've done videos on almost all the gadgets and lighting in this space here, including this table, which is one of my favorites. It transforms into a full-size dining table. So it goes from here and raises up. 
and it can extend outwards. Pretty awesome. Got our floating moon lamps. We got tons of neon signs. Get ready to dive into these fantastically unique lighting cubes from Yeelight. They've come up with an interchangeable, stackable, customizable, modular desk lighting decor kit. A quite fascinating idea that offers a good balance of function with some unique visual aesthetic. The Yeelight Cube isn't just a light. It can be a canvas for your creativity, organization, rhythm visualizer for your music, and an immersive lighting experience for your screens, movies, and gaming. The coolest part is you can build out your kit, mix and match it to fit your setup. Welcome everybody to the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. Today we're checking out these awesome Yeelight Cube smart cubes that we have right here. All right, so first off, let's break down the three different cube types to build out a set. First up, we have the dot matrix cube. So these are 25 dots in the cube in a five by five grid, allowing you to connect multiple together to display time, messages, or unleash your artistic side with drawings. Second up, we have the panel cube. Now the panel cube boasts these soft lighting panels with RGB technology, letting you craft a unique ambience. You can create breathtaking lighting effects in combination with the dot matrix cube for some variety. And lastly, we have the spotlight cube. Now the spotlight cube is a powerful RGB light source that projects a focused 15 degree colored beam. The spotlight features inbuilt directionality adjustment making it perfect for casting decor lighting on your wall or playing with shadow. As you can see, the spotlight cube right here is casting a shadow on the side of my face. So you can kind of use it for video lighting too in your own setup if you're a content creator or something of that nature. Using the mobile app, you can transform your cube into a dynamic canvas. The app features an array of settings and preset scene modes to fit an array of different styles for whatever best fits the vibe of your space. Beyond the included scene modes, you can also customize and create your own presets and scene modes. You can draw your own pictures and use even these preset drawings, letters, or numbers to display your own messages. And a social media sub counter for YouTube or Twitch, which is as simple as typing and searching up your channel. They've also included a sound reactivity mode to sync your cubes with music. If you wanna pair them with some speakers, let's say for some music visualization, all of these sound reactivity Activity modes, all four of them. If you go up to these little tabs here, there's just so many different color palettes that you can change. Using the desktop app, you can not only control the cubes, but you can sync them with your computer screen to display the colors from your screen onto the cubes and really create that immersive lighting. Introducing the most advanced 3D light panels on the market. To my fellow adventurers of the night, if you're like me, you crave new lighting tech that creates bold and exciting ambience. Govi Glide Hexagon Ultra Light Panels are designed to captivate your senses and elevate your space to a whole new level. At the core of this experience are hexagon shaped panels. These panels are not your ordinary run of the mill wall lights, wall panels. They are meticulously crafted to deliver a stunning 3D effect that's truly mesmerizing. What makes the hexagon ultra panels a first of their kind is they are the first in the industry to combine both line and surface illumination methods. This revolutionary approach creates a captivating parallax effect that adds depth and dynamism to your space, making for this ultra 3D effect. So let's talk about the system power and logistics. You can connect up to 21 panels together on one power supply, which is quite a lot, covers quite a lot of surface area if you choose to do this before you have to add in an additional power supply. And the hexagon design allows you to create a pattern in any which way or direction. This flexibility allows you to create larger and more intricate lighting setups to suit your space and design preferences. Whether you wanna cover an entire wall or create a custom lighting pattern, the ability to connect multiple panels together provides ample room for creativity and customization. Okay, so here I am now installing the panels onto my wall where I wanna put them. I first tried laying out the template it came with, which gave me an idea of the spacing. 
I then cleaned my wall, stuck up each panel as the app provided detailed instructions and a video as to how to set everything up. But be sure you like your pattern as I wasn't quite sold the first time I put everything up. I actually went and redid it and thought maybe I'll wrap it around to the other side of my wall. I stuck with that for a day before deciding to put it back onto a single wall and changing up the pattern a little bit. But I'm super happy with how the final thing came out. I'm just absolutely blown away by the new effect. This is something that I've wanted in the Govi Glide hexagon panels. The initial version is outlines of the hexagon shape to really sell that 3D effect. I prefer the more simple lines effect. I think it just looks cooler overall. Now that the panels are installed in the preferred pattern, we're just getting started. These panels are mood maestros. With the staggering 81 preloaded scenes, they can set the stage for any mood, event, celebration, holiday, or feeling that you're having. Welcome to the Neon Sign Buyer's Guide. Neon signs are more popular than ever. They've become the iconic statement pieces adorning and illuminating homes, offices, studios, cafes, events, weddings, galleries, and art installations. So in this video guide, I'll break down the entire experience and everything you need to know about getting your very own neon sign. From concept to final install, this guide will walk you through the process. I've listed out all the chapter time codes in the description below, as well as provided purchase links to the products and trusted suppliers shown in the video. So get ready to illuminate your world with the perfect neon sign, customized to your vision and discover the endless possibilities that await. A perfect blend of retro aesthetics and cutting edge audio tech, the Muzzin OTR metal vintage speaker and the rugged military inspired wild Jeep portable speaker. Look, I mean, look at this, it's got, it's got leather and gold accents here. And there it is in all of its glory. Ooh. The Muzzin OTR vintage metal Bluetooth speaker. Nicely and perfectly packaged in this beautiful vintage looking luggage case. So it's, you know what? It's a lot heavier than I expected it to be. Wow, this is one beautifully packaged product. Check that thing out right there. That's a first look. Wow, <laughs> it's an antenna. There's a little port, match up the three holes. Okay, and we're rocking and rolling with our little retro vintage looking stereo. I mean, this antenna is probably not just for show. It probably actually helps the FM radio inside. Boom! Time for number two. The one I'm waiting for, the one I'm personally excited about. Classic box in a box. Ho ho ho, kind of skipped ahead here. Boom, look at that. <gasps> Zoom in there, get in real tight. Oh yeah, wow. <sighs> Is that not a nice looking Bluetooth speaker? I mean, come on. It's also got the FM radio. What else we got in the box here? Matching strap, push the button in the back. Boom, you got the strap and you can put the other one on the other side. Take it out. Another antenna, very vintage, very James Bond feeling like. Okay, so we kind of got this like really high quality finish on it. It feels really sturdy, really metal, good weight to it. We got the side clips here. And at the back, we have our USB auxiliary input, which you do need. It's like a USB micro cable to aux. And we got the antenna. Very, very beautiful little looking speaker here with the OTR metal, our gold finishes. Very nice. The back also, if you wanna get that aux input there, or you can just keep that antenna in. Let's try turning one on. Okay, so it's got this knob that says on. Let's see what happens. Okay, I like how it lights up there. So I guess it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. And this is our little volume knob right here. Really nice feeling turning these dials. Super smooth, weighted. A Latino with red crop. I don't want to play any copywritten music, but that's just working right out of the box. Similar setup here, we got one dial, turn it on. First setting's Bluetooth, second setting's aux, third setting is the radio here. Wow, 
Wow, I've never... What is that? What is going on there? Just taking... But that's the first I've seen a radio in a Bluetooth speaker specifically that is styled so nicely. Imagine a world where the laws of physics bend seamlessly with cutting edge engineering, creating a mesmerizing, gravity-defying spectacle. Introducing the Loop Lasso String Shooter Evo. Powered by the magic of high RPM motors, the Loop Lasso Evo defies gravity as it propels a looped string into the air at over 40 miles an hour. It effortlessly dances as if defying the very laws of nature. And there's more. Experience a world of wonder in the dark with the built-in UV blacklight, casting an enchanting glow on the fluorescent strings, kind of like a dance party in your hands. The new Loop Lasso Evo brings a touch of magic with its upgrades. It boasts quiet yet more powerful motors, so you can enjoy thrilling speeds and quieter play. And that's not all. The optimized chip inside now gives you up to 45 minutes of continuous use. The new Evo version is not just about function, it's about style too. It's Sleek body design and soft touch finish will make it your favorite gadget to hold. Time for some live demos and feedback on what I really think of this new and upgraded version of the Loop Lasso Evo String Shooter. Okay, so before you go, you wanna make sure your string is properly installed and easily goes through the motors. Take your finger, put it through the loop. And there you go. So one of the new things that I noticed about the Loop Lasso Evo, this upgraded version here, is that with the original one, you kind of had to go with the motors full tilt right off the bat. Whereas this one, you can go up a little bit slower, I found, and just sort of like ease into it. Kind of like that. Another excellent feature, which in my opinion, really, really completes this whole toy here. It has this cutoff feature now. So when you go to hit the motor, and let's say you don't get it the first time, instead of continually spinning that motor, it'll automatically shut off. Just like that. So this is a really great feature because if you're just starting out, it might take a few tries to get this thing going and it'll automatically kill those motors. Perhaps like the yo-yo, the fidget spinner, and the many cool toy innovations that we've seen in the past, the Loop Lasso might just be the coolest and most technologically advanced of them all. With many endless tricks to learn and I'm sure some soon still to be discovered. So I really feel like this would make a great gift for the holidays events and festivals. I could also see this as a great gift item to give out at parties. If you do have young ones, I could see this also being a great tool for teaching some scientific principles in an engaging way. Where the laws of physics collide with your imagination, delivering some thrills and visual delight. In this video, I'll dive into a wide array of lighting tools to craft the ultimate party atmosphere. So many, many moons ago, I definitely used to attend and throw a lot of parties. Given my knowledge for lighting, my love for AV and tech, I found myself at the center of a lot of these party setups with my friends. Follow along with me as I transform my space step by step from the default chill mode into a vibrant, high energy, color themed dance party paradise. I'll provide links in the description to everything mentioned in this guide, as well as chapter time codes will also be listed below. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is shut off all the lights and anything that puts out light. 
So we're starting with what I like to call a blank canvas. We're gonna establish the foundation of our party lighting setup with par cans. These are can-shaped lights, perfect for casting intense, soft-edged beams of light commonly used in clubs, concerts, and events. Nowadays, it's super easy to get affordable par cans thanks to RGB LEDs. Par cans are great for controlling the light spill and often come with built-in effects, making them excellent for dance floors and setting the party mood. Additionally, you can also opt for RGB floodlights or panel lights, which will work just as well. To me, they're very underrated as a cost-effective lighting tool that offer weatherproof options for outdoor use. Alternatively, you can really use any high-powered color lighting that allows for precise direction and control of the lighting. Think photo video and lights of that nature. So today I'm going with a green and purple theme with accents of orange. I feel like this is a pretty classic color combo for a party environment. Our goal is to use these lights to creatively paint and illuminate our space according to our chosen theme. So for the foundation of our lights here, we'll focus on bounced light only, directing it towards walls, ceilings, corners, or surfaces that create a softer, more appealing ambience. Bonus points if you can actually hide or conceal the lighting fixture itself. Next up, we have strange rope or strip lighting. This type of lighting includes any lights in a line, row, or array. These are a very popular choice in many different lighting setups as they're a good way to evenly light a large space in a controlled and aesthetically balanced way. I have quite a few of these types of lights in my space, LED strips wrapping my desks, my TV, inside my display cabinets, my kitchen, my neon rope light wrapping my balcony, and of course, a popular new favorite, the Govee curtain lights. Now we'll add into the mix any other ambient or mood setting lights. These can be anything decorative or mood setting, neon signs, table lights, wall lights, flameless candles, or anything mood setting really. Given these types of lights are a central topic on this YouTube channel, I definitely have a lot of them to add in here to help add to the overall ambience. The trick to adding these lights to our party setup is so they're complementing or matching with the color or theme in a way that adds to the mood or environment. The second thing is making them bright enough to be seen, but dim enough so that they're not overpowering our other lights so far. So another fun little tip is using video projectors or displays as an ambi light to display background visuals or videos that can help add to the vibe of your party. This is commonly done at clubs, venues, and events and can be a great way to elevate your space. Just be conscious to make sure it's not done in a way as to take away from the other lighting and instead only to add to the ambience. If you don't happen to have a video projector or screen, you can use a galaxy projector or home planetarium as sort of a budget option in some of the darker areas of your space. So now one of my favorite things, let's talk about fire. Commonly used as a centerpiece for everyone to gather around, providing warmth, light, and entertainment, Fire can also be used as a key way to add some dynamic lighting elements. Worth mentioning are these smaller indoor fire pits that are just absolutely mesmerizing. They burn clean and fumeless with isopropyl alcohol and a specially coated concrete design. These pits are amazing for adding impressive accents of warmth and lighting inside or outside. The next light is an essential party favor for adding that magical glow to everything. Yes, that's right, we're talking about UV lights. So for this setup I'm doing today, I wanna sprinkle that innate glow that UV light adds to objects without it being the main focus of the party by blending it in with the other lights. A lot of bars and clubs use this trick to add in that hint of lighting magic to their space. However, if you do wanna go full UV black light, psychedelic, glow stick, neon party, you can do so by simply removing all the other light sources in your setup and just using a bunch of UV lights. So the next three things kinda of go together as a package. If you're really trying to turn up and wanna create a rave dance party-esque atmosphere, here's where things get fun. You're gonna add in what's known as a stage laser. High-end concerts and club venues rely on the unmatched visuals that can be created with stage lasers. I absolutely love the multi-dimensional lighting aesthetics and effects that can be created with lasers. 
To me, this is the most advanced and most epic lighting tool when done right. Another touch you can also add to really amp up the energy over the top is a strobe light. Something about the strobing of light that tricks the eye into what can momentarily make time seem like it's moving in slow motion. When it comes to lasers, there are plenty of budget options available ranging from low end to high end to add this into your party, some with strobe lights even built in. Today I'm blessed to be using the Laser Cube, which is a professional stage laser that is capable of some of the most amazing lighting and visuals I've seen in my space here. I mean seriously, this thing is so epic, it most definitely will have a dedicated video of its own coming one day. But again, for most people, you can definitely find something in your budget range. Hit those price links below and I'll recommend a few. Now, if you are gonna add in a laser or a strobe light or both, this means you most certainly have to also add in fog with it for the intended effect. As lasers need fog, smoke, or something to pass through in order to bring their elusive beams to life. Strobes also seem to work best with fog, creating a stark lighting contrast from bright to dark. Depending on your space, you can grab a fog machine, or if you're in a smaller space like mine, I found using this fog in a can product works wonders to really control the amount of fog when some is needed. Just make sure you won't be setting off any fire alarms. Okay, so there you have it. We've gone over all the big lighting tricks for creating some engaging party ambience. I'm hoping that if you're still with me, this video guide has been helpful, has given you some ideas and inspiration that you can take next time you go in creating some lighting ambience for your own party. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell as this is the Future Space Collective where we explore the world of products for imagination.